happy happy 5d declaration day 555 here we are one year later after our independence and declaration last year from 222 and 228 and it's been one year doing all the groundwork all the light workers that's been doing all their groundwork so we're celebrating today and it is an exciting time i don't know about y'all but i know for me and other light workers and 5d people and uh new age age of the aquarian like those of you who know know this is an exciting time you might not know what this day is but it's gonna get around to you it'll catch up so the energetic seal for 5d has been reinforced we already sealed it last year energetically remember all of this is an energetic it's no paper seal i spoke about it before of course on the videos from last year so all you got to do is scroll down to know about it and for those who don't know and like what is she talking about it's the 5D independence, the birth of the new earth that is bestowing. It's still coming. It's not officially, officially here. We're, we're the ones that are, let's say, channeling it in, bringing it in, pioneering it in for the past, let's say, two to three years, like officially working on it. And it's ushering in the new earth. And um, real quick, just, to, just in case you don't know and you've been under a, a rock away from the 5D information, but it is the new earth that we're shifting to. This is why you're seeing all these changes. And last year, the Pluto return in USA on 2 2022 marks the official spot where uh, the coordinates were at the time of uh, America's independence. So it's like a complete re-evolution, a complete revolution or revolving of the, of the planet of Pluto. Um, from 200 and something years ago, which every time it gets in those coordinates, one nation falls and another one rises like the fall of Rome, Britain in 1776. So this fall was the fall of everybody else, the world and the rise of the new earth. So we are here. And then seven days later, which marks today, is a day that after the energetic seal, it was a day of the completion of the energetic seal for all who were working on the light grid, whether you're aware of it or not. That's what was being done energetically. And um, those who have risen to the occasion around that time, think about what you were doing around that time. Because if you were doing any type of light work around this time last year, you were a part of the first wave that was working on the energetic sealing, working on the light grid activation and the energetic seal. So right now, you know, some of us have been doing it throughout the year, but today, today is marking the declaration of officially knowing that it has been sealed, it has been done. And so this year around what has been shown to me, you know, the messages, you know, I come to give you the galactic news for us to infuse with. And the infusion of this information is that reinforcement, reinforcement of the energetic field. So the energetics, not the energetic field, sorry, the energetic seal has been reinforced. And that's due to all the light work that has been done recently. If so, if any of you were doing any type of light work, whatever that may be, especially if it involved the three instructions I had been giving you, which um, I mean, had been given to me to share with you. I didn't make it up. This is how it came to me. But fasting, um, removing yourself from any low vibrational places, persons, things, if you've been feeling like you've been kind of, you know, spiritually quarantining, like, nah, I don't feel like doing that. And um, doing things to raise your vibration, you know, to the 10th power, things that just elevate you, whether it's meditating and things like that. If you find yourself have, having been doing that in the past week, maybe week and a half, maybe even two weeks, then you have been doing the light work. You have been helping with the reinforcement of the energetic seal and am helping to amplify the light grid. For all of us to have this stabilized energy um, because we're we got some rough times ahead so this is very needed right now and so what I want to share with you all is the download that I got for the reinforcement of this energetic seal so I'm sharing that with all the light bodies all the light workers um, just people who just want to know like what what are, what are you talking about which I did explain um, and remembering to please shine your light, please keep, especially yesterday and today were two very important days that we want to just be in the love frequency and share that love, shine that light and turn it up all the way and refrain from getting pulled into anybody's vortex of, you know, refrain from being triggered. 
and just looping out of those triggers just for these couple of days, especially within this week. If you can do it even for the rest of this week leading up to the new moon, if those of you who do new moon, full moon work, not the new moon, the full moon coming up is also a really good time to work with your energies and really release and expel some energies. And I have a meditation coming up. So as soon as I get it, I will download it. I created a meditation for the high heart activation. Um, and so anyone who may need it, you could feel free to play it at any time. If you feel like you gotta, you know, we got to check in is to really help you release the energy and like clear your channel and release what deposits have been put in you, you know, throughout the day, people rub us the wrong way. And sometimes we just really need to release those deposits and then recharge and fill it up and bring back the light, elevate your light and bring it back into your high heart. So that meditation is going to be helpful in, in the days to come. And if any of you know, any of you may want to do any work on your soul during that full moon, I have a ideal, um, I don't even want to say ideal, I have a workshop, Divine Chakra Moon Workshop, and that can help um, for those who are really interested in excavating their soul and utilizing this time to make any releases with the full moon so that you can be prepared with these new energies that are going to be coming forth. So with that said, with that information out of the way, that little housekeeping out of the way, I'm going to read you the declaration day, um, the, the download I got for today and just share that with you. So whatever resonates with you, take it as you will. Here is the galactic news. So what is said is we have seen, we have seen the beautiful transformation in the works that you prepare for what is to be done in the works you have prepared for what is to be done. The souls have aligned and tuned in to the frequencies which have prompted them to shift their vibrations. Keep sending the messages of confirmation as you all bear witness one unto another of the intercommunication we have been sharing with you all. Some may not be aware when we are communicating, but they are listening and stepping towards the movement. And they always put, I always capital M-O-V-E, the movement as it resonates within their souls. So you've been listening and stepping towards the movement as it resonates within their souls. The collective synergy within the movement has amplified the light grid activation and reinforced the energetic seal by the combined efforts of those who have listened to our instructions intuitively and those workers of the light who have made the intentional efforts to synchronize their time reality transformations and harmonize their integration of the rising 3D consciousness into fourth dimension within the 5D new earth consciousness. Some still are in the process, but the movement has begun. So yes, everybody is at different levels, and um, but as they said, the movement has begun. The reinforcement of the energetic seal has made a way to stabilize the higher vibrations during extreme times that lay ahead as major changes take place during the great cosmic shift. There is available refuge for all who choose to infuse with the light grid and be a lighthouse extension for those who are finding their way. It is time to set the foundations of trust as you attune to the properties of the higher frequencies and bring the visibility of the love frequency to the collective. So that is the declaration. And then it goes on to say that the declaration has been set. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read um, any more of that. That was just like the general message because some things is not, I guess, for everybody's ears to hear. Um, I don't like the horrid information, but I really like to go with spirit if it's something that I should be sharing. But it's just to let you know that the declaration has been has really been set. Um, it's there. So with that, I'd like to invite us to continue to enjoy this day. Okay, I guess I can read it. You know, it's like spirit's just like, yeah, you can. So the further, the last piece of it says, to all who adhere to the instructions and the accountability within the existence of the 5D New Earth Consciousness, of the love frequency as it exists within their true heart vibrations of resonance. The reinforcement of the energetic seal is set. So it's just confirming that. I guess it was like nothing big. I could, I could read that. 
because there's some things that I just keep within my my soul community when we meet up and I share that information. But there are some things that I can, you know, share um, with all. Most of the information everybody can hear either way. We are all getting the information anyway, just in different ways, different interpretations, different, you know, we're all different type of mediums. But either way, most of the messages are the same because I've been hearing some people getting the same messages about what's coming ahead. There, there's some things that are going to be ahead, but not to fear, not to be in any worries because the energies have been set. You know, we've been doing the work as this. This was like reassurance and confirmation for me. Like we've been doing it. So for those who continue to the more intentional you are, the more you are set in the refuge, as it says, the more you choose to infuse with the light in the light grid and things like that. You don't have to know where the light grid or look for it by you doing your works. You will, as you as you quantum leap from timeline to timeline to timeline, you will attach to the light grid when it's your time. You will fall into the light grid when it's your time. Some people fall in, some people fall out. But either way, the light is here for all of us as we're all bodies of light to share. So it is really an exciting time, times we have coming ahead. And remember, if you're feeling some of this woes, because it's going to feel like tower moment coming up, you know, tower moment, dark night of the soul, because when people go through a real awakening, they enter into a dark night of the soul and it can be really heavy. So this is why we all needed to amp up the light grid and and reinforce the seal, because things are going to be shaking and rattling the foundation. And we're only at the foundation. We just broke ground last year and we've been doing ground breaking work for the 5D consciousness all year. We are only at still at the point of the beginning of laying the foundations, which involves us laying trust. We all have to trust each other. We have to trust the process. We have to trust being into the unknown because the things that are going to unfold in front of us are going to invite us to trusting the unknown to bring forth what is ahead of us in truth to bring forth the love frequency and this is just operating in true faith trusting the unknown is really going to stretch a lot of us to really magnify in our faith so even all all of those who you see the uh religions and this and that you're they're going to be challenged you're going to see a lot of these things being challenged especially with saturn moving into um, Pisces because that is coming in to bring the authority into the, let's say, spiritual house, you know, where Pisces is usually very spiritual. So, you know, that's a topic for another time. I can go into that. I may do a video separately on, you know, the galactic cosmic, the great sh cosmic shift that is coming. It may be titled just that. But right now, I just really want to share this love and light with you all and remind you to keep shining your light keep saying that i'm going to choose to infuse with the light i'm going to loop out and i'm going to leave you to your now and love you where you are and just hold the higher vibrations the more we do the more we tune into those frequencies so what is your declaration as i close out that's what i'm going to leave it with because that's a question that actually at the last of the reading that i just read to you the download it ended with what is your proclamation so to those who are being intentional about the new earth, about age of the Aquarian, knowing that the seal has been made, the independence is here, our sovereignty is here. What is your proclamation? Because we, pl we play a part in the energetic seal. So think about that. Write it down and put it away because we are creating our own story right now. It's our story. I don't say history, so... It's our story that we're creating right now. So write something down, write your proclamation, note it down and put it away so that you can come back and return to it. I wrote one last year when we did the first one and then I wrote another one this year. So this is what was, is being asked of us. We are the ones that are creating the power is being returned to the people. The power is being returned to the people. That's what Pluto is also about. The power of the people. So we are at a place where we're in sovereignty and we're recognizing. So we are the ones that write the declaration and the proclamation through our energy, through the works of our light as being light vessels and also as well as our energy. So, you know, again, think about a proclamation. What do you proclaim? Light bodies. 
entities, energies, 5D consciousness. What is your proclamation to the birth in this new earth as we integrate back in through this separation? This has also been a confirmation of synchronization. We have been synchronizing and harmonizing those who felt like, oh, we in 5D, like don't feel separate. Remember 3D is within 5D and we have to continue to be grounded and rooted, reground yourselves in love and compassion because the, the, the 3D is rising. Not all of it is shadow. So we have to give way and have compassion and give them time to get it in their own time. And then we have to practice integrating with them in the midst of the separation. So even though we see a separation, integrate. This is what is being asked of us. It's not about 5D and jumping out of something. We are leaving the matrix, but it's really for you to change your, your, your daily routines. It's for you to change how you are living, thinking, change your concepts. Start changing them now because the extremities that lie ahead are going to force you to change them in a way that is going to feel like mental attacks mental attacks, spiritual attacks. So it's best that we prepare, P-A-I-R, -I be paired in spirit, be paired in the divine and get your own inner standing in the book of life within you so that you are prepared so that when things shift, you're like, okay, I already shifted in consciousness. That's the real shift. It's in the mind within you. It's in the universe within you, in the universe of space and time for you to shift and make a declaration within. Don't don't look for anything out there. Don't look for a leader out there to save you and bring you 5D. Even, I, even people like myself that are bringing you the news, like we are just the channels. We're just the channels of light and information. You are all getting the information as it's said here. They're intercommunicating, but most people who are not really yet awake or that tuned in, they don't know. You may be getting communications in your dreams, synchronicities as you're passing by, Pay attention to things that you're shifting into intuitively and be willing to say yes to that because that is the role that you play in it. And the more you step towards it, the more it unfolds. The more that you step into the intuitiveness and the unknown, the more you're saying yes and the more you unfold within your soul. You unfold within the manifold of your own soul. So I share that with you. And this really is one of the exciting times. Welcome, welcome, welcome aboard to those who are just signing on and lining on and attuning and finding out what this 5D is all about, what it really looks like. Listen to people who are telling you things that are similar to what I'm saying about it being your consciousness. That way you're not looking for a group out there. And, and find your soul tribe. Find your soul tribe. That is another message that they want to get across. That you are, you may be feeling separate for some other things, but it is because the energies are pushing you along to be connected with your soul family. You have soul contracts. You have made arrangements before you even came here. And some of us want to cling on to life in the old ways, but it's saying no. It's saying, uh, 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 we got your tribe. You got your tribe over here. And, but we need you to let go of that. And it doesn't mean say bye to those people forever. It just means detach a little bit. Remove your heartstrings and become unattached so that you can be connected in your divinity, in your crown chakra. So remember to go to your high heart, send light up through your crown and through your soul stars, your soul star chakra so that you can be uh, attuned. This is your highest spiritual self. And you want to be attuned. You can even do this. Sometimes just do this around your heart. These things help. You may not know why, but they do. As an energy person, I can tell you because you send energy through the palms of your hand. We all do it. It's nothing special. We all do it. We're all bodies of light, vessels of light. So you can circulate. You can um, recalculate, recalibrate your heart. And just the heart is the most I wouldn't say most important. Each chakra is important, but the heart circulates just like it circulates blood through your body. It circulates the energy and you can also do it around your crown. Invite that light in and do it around your crown. And as you send light out, you send it up through your soul star. We all we if only we know the power, the power is in the mind, the power is in the soul. The mind is the soul. So please get to know your spirit 
uh, what do you say, spirit, mind, body complex because you're a threefold being. You are a threefold being who is transforming. This is a very transformational moment. We're transforming on so many levels, not just mentally, spiritually. The body itself, we're changing at a very molecular level. Our cells are changing. Some of us will find that there's things that you can't really do no more. Or maybe you can do something different. You know, you may have acquired something new, but our very cells and our organs and things are changing. The more you attune to these frequencies, the more you become intentional with this work. It's a whole work process, y'all. The declaration is real. So I'm enjoying this day and share it with your children. Let me not forget to say that. Share it with your children. Those of you who are, you know, ascending souls and doing the work, don't just do it for yourself and leave out the children. We must find ways to incorporate what we're doing with the children because they are the future. We're the pioneers, but they're the ones that's really going to be bringing more of it in behind us. And so we have to bring them in the ways or else it will die away. If we all just do the work and we don't pass it on, there's there has to be a constant reinforcement. Hence why this year was reinforcement of the energetic seal. And it's probably going to be that way every year around this time, around February, because to be honest, that's around the time that all there's a lot of energetic uh, help, let's say cosmic buoyancy and help that um, accelerates us through this time, especially when all planets are going direct. So it's wise around this time every year if we could do light work stuff, light work um, things that raise our vibrations to help elevate the light grid and to help reinforce the energetic seal. We have to keep sealing it because in these times where we're changing and the paradigms are shifting, those old energies do not like this. They trying to shut us down. And that's why videos like this probably not going to be able to be talked about maybe in about a year or they got, they're going to do everything they can to quench this information. So this is why it's important that even in this, this month in Pi throughout Pisces season and with these four planets that are going to be in Pisces, like, and I will do the video about that. It's important about, it is important for us to embrace that, realize that. Um, and there's more to come. There's more to come. Just be ye renewed by the transformation in our minds, in our hearts, in our souls. Happy, happy Declaration Day. Enjoy your day and be the light that you are. The love that lights the truth. Be love, receive love, and give love because you are love. Each one, reach one, teach one. If you don't know where to start, start in your big, beautiful heart and shine your light from the inside out. Peace.